I welcome you all, all the delegates, respected uh, and honorable uh, members, all the people who have come here in this international conference. Uh, to start with, uh, we all know that energy is the biggest need of time. This is one thing which is needed by all the countries, every nation. So uh, sustainable energy and renewable energy is one thing which, was, uh, which will be discussed and there is a growing consensus that renew renewable energy resources will be very important part of the answer where the energy quest is a great question for the nations including Pakistan. Everyone knows that energy plays a crucial role in the development of a country. We in Pakistan are fortunately blessed with abundant natural resources. However, it is the skill and the management of these resources that we lack and we need to build upon. The United States Pakistan Center for Advanced Studies in Energy has been established on this very idea of building these skills. The purpose-built state-of-the-art campus with seven world-class laboratories is aimed at providing the young Pakistanis with excellent learning opportunities. The center offers four postgraduate degrees along with the corresponding PhD programs. The center also has an exchange program with Arizona State University and Oregon State University. And we hope to benefit 100 students and faculty members by 2019 when the project ends. It is a well-established phenomena that the academia has a key role in the world of knowledge-based economy for the socio-economic uplift of any country. I personally am very keen to brand UET Peshawar as an entrepreneurial university which will play a catalytic role in boosting technology transfer and providing sustainable solution to the contemporary challenges, especially in energy. Well, establishing Center for Advanced Studies in Energy is one of the step is one of the steps towards achieving this milestone. I'm thankful indeed to the kind support of USID by establishing this center and by bridging us with US partner Arizona State University. Development in this country is not going to be the domain of one particular arena. It's not going to be UET Peshawar by itself and it's not going to be LUMS uh, by itself and it's not going to be industry. Partnerships, working uh, with each other with the sole focus on the merit of the work is going to get us uh, where we want to go and merit without excuses. So if the work is going to be done at, at UET Peshawar, it has to be called good by experts from Arizona, by ex experts from Oxford, and by experts from uh, Beijing. That through collaboration between Pakistan and the United States, we're working together to develop strong educational institutions to find solutions to one of the country's greatest and most pressing challenges, which everyone has mentioned already, energy. Together, we're working on Pakistan's need for a skilled workforce in the energy sector, as well as linking academia, government, and the private sector to find innovative solutions to local energy prob problems through research and practical policies. The energy sector is complex and complicated, and the challenge is not simply to generate more power. We need to leverage technological innovation, the very best technical, technological innovation we can, we can find in the energy sector to increase Pakistan's economic growth and development and improve the living conditions of ordinary people. Sustainable energy technologies will help leaders identify smart policies that serve this broad set of goals and interests. In addition to the work USAID is doing, I also wanted to mention that the U.S. Department of Energy is also working with the government of Pakistan on integrated energy planning to support effective and inclusive energy planning at the national level. I should note that this is not the first partnership in higher education between the United States and Pakistan. There is a history that goes back quite far. Throughout the years, the U.S. and Pakistan have worked together to build what have become some of the leading higher education institutions in the country. 
We're very proud to list among these the Institute of Business Administration in Karachi, the Lahore University of Management Sciences, and the Agriculture University in Peshawar, and many more. That UET in Peshawar has established this center for advanced studies in energy, which will cre create a lot of important contributions uh, in this sector. I'm also grateful to AID for not only supporting this center, but also participating in the energy se sector in a number of ways, uh, which is one of our most critical sectors. So the first thing is renewable rebates. And uh, that was started in California, particularly by uh, demand-side management programs. And this looked at avoided cost of, uh, of uh, generating electricity from energy efficiency predominantly. Electricity is now a basic need. It is no more luxury now. It is perishable, although a small quantity of electricity can be stored. But if you are talking about megawatts, it cannot be stored. It gives me immense pleasure to be speaking to the closing of the International Conference on Sustainable Energy Technologies, successfully organized by the team of the United States Pakistan Center for Advanced Studies in Energy at the University of Engineering and Technology, Peshawar. This renewable energy is uh, definitely, I think, provide a, a good role in Pakistan and can, uh, this energy can bring down the prices of the energy as well in Pakistan and then reduce the losses as well in Pakistan. So the idea of the smart grid already introduced uh, all over the world and we have to take the benefits and we have to, maybe we have to model it a little bit, that how we can use it the best way in Pakistan. Apart from the concrete benefits that this project, USP, USP case, will bring to Pakistan, I must emphasize that every citizen has the power to make a difference in contributing towards achieving the larger goal to make an energy-sufficient Pakistan.